Hello guys, here is Shivli and you are welcome to my kitchen. Today I am going to show you the recipe of a super delicious sweet for the whole family using only one cup of milk. It is a super easy recipe and super delicious to eat. So I have taken one cup of milk and it is boiled milk and I am adding it into the frying pan. For one cup of milk, I am taking a half cup of sugar. You may change the quantity of sugar, there is no problem according to your taste. I am using half cup of sugar for one cup of milk. Now we need to let the milk heat a little and after that we need to add some powdered milk. So here is the quantity I had. Actually I needed some more. Minimum half cup of milk powder we need for this recipe but I only had this. So I am going to add some milk cream to fulfill the lack. If you are not going to add milk cream, you may add some more uh, powdered milk and some ghee. Ghee means clarified butter. And here I am using 1 pinch of salt and a half teaspoon of green cardamom powder. And now I am going to add some malai. Malai means milk cream. This is the cow milk cream. And it is little frozen. This malai has the taste of both ghee and powdered milk. So I am not adding ghee especially. If you are adding some more quantity of milk powder then add some ghee especially and in that case you may skip the malai there is no problem. I am adding this malai into the pan. Now we need to stir the mixture very nicely until the malai is dissolved and mixed up. So we need to wait for some time and stir the mixture nicely. We need to let it boil. So. Now the mala is mixed up very nicely and the mixture is boiling nicely. So now I am going to add some more things. For the first I am taking some grated coconut. It is dry coconut but you may take the fresh one there is no problem. And here is about one and a half cup of grated coconut. You can see that it is very finely grated. We need a very finely grated coconut for this recipe and before grating keep the coconut in the fridge for about 5 to 6 hours and after that grate with a fine grater like this. This way you will be able to grate the coconut very finely like this. And if you don't want to grate them you may grind them in a mixer grinder. So I am adding the coconut into the milk. And after that for the second I am taking some roasted peanut powder. I am taking half cup of roasted peanut powder. Simply I roasted some peanuts and cooled them down and after that I grinded them into a fine powder like this. And I am taking half cup of roasted peanut powder. Adding this. Now we need to mix everything very nicely and cook the mixture on medium heat until the milk is dried up. While cooking I am going to add some dry fruits. So I have taken some cashews and some raisins only. You may add any kind of dry fruits that you have. I chopped the cashews and didn't chop the raisins, only washed the raisins properly. Now I am adding them into the mixture. You may take any kind of dry fruits that you like or that you have. I am mixing the mixture again and cooking it on medium heat. And we need to keep stirring the mixture continuously like this to prevent burn from the bottom. We need to wait for some time. And now the mixture is quite thick and I am covering the pan like this and stirring the mixture like this under the lid. It is because of the mixture is very thick now and it is spluttering very much. So I am preventing myself and the surroundings of the pan like this. And now the mixture is thicker than before and it is not spluttering like that. So now I am cooking it without lid. And you can notice that I am stirring the mixture continuously to prevent burn from the bottom and now it is perfectly thick and it is very non sticky now. It is being released from the pan surface. So now we need to remove the mixture into a plate and pull it down. I am spreading it a little and I am going to wait for some time until the mixture is cooled down. At least it should be warm in temperature before making the sweets. So now it is warm. I washed my hands and made them wet. So now I am going to shape them with my hands. You may shape the sweets in any shapes, any designs, any sizes. There is no problem according to your wish. I am making them just like laddus. You may flatten them a little and you may make them like burfi or you may use any kind of mold to design it. There is no problem according to your wish as you like. 
So here I have taken some desiccated coconut to coat the laddu, coat the sweet like this. And our first sweet is ready. Here it is. So guys, in the same process, we need to make all the laddus or all the sweets. So let's do it. These sweets are really very delicious guys. All of the family members and guests will love it. And it's a very easy and very quick recipe to make. So you may try this simple recipe in any religious festival or any time whenever you wish to eat them. So try this simple recipe and don't forget to share your experience with me. Hit the like button guys if you really liked the video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Now I am showing you cutting a sweet that how much soft it is. It's very soft and very juicy and amazingly delicious to eat. So guys try this recipe and hope to meet you in the next video. Bye bye take care.